Hey, what's up, guys? It's TriStar Pictures 82 back again, and I got something really cool to show you guys because I had just gotten a Laserdisc player. Yep, I got a Laserdisc player because I'm a player. That's how we do it, son. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I picked up this Laserdisc player at Savers for only $25, which is a, a deal because, you know, these Laserdisc players usually go for like $50 or more on eBay, so, um, Yep, I, I've always been wanting to own a, a Laserdisc player since I first heard about Laserdisc. I mean, I, I was I wasn't born till like '93, so I guess I was kind of too young to fully remember the Laserdisc format. But once I like seen um, videos on YouTube about people who collected Laserdisc, you know, that's how I basically got interested in this format. So um, yep, so um. The Laserdisc format um, had its roots way back to the 1970s when the format was in development and it was under the name MCA Disco Vision at the time. And um, it wasn't until like 1978 when the format first entered the market, you know, by the name MCA Disco Vision because, you know, their, their first release was um, Jaws and whatnot and then they start to release a bunch of more films and whatnot. So, um, yeah, and, and it wasn't until, like, the early 80s when the name was settled to just Laserdisc. So, um, yep, well, anyways, this right here is a, a Pioneer Laser Karaoke player, which this is both a Laserdisc player and a karaoke machine, you know, two, two at once, which is really neat. I mean, as you can see, you got the microphone jacks right here and some of the volume controls and whatnot. So, um, yep, that's pretty cool. Now, I, I hadn't used this karaoke feature just yet, you know, I mean, I, I still gotta figure out how I'm supposed to, you know, do this, because, you know, I, I got this at a thrift store, so no instruction manual or whatnot, so, um, yeah, but but if you guys um, who own a any um, of these kind of Laserdisc players know how to, like, work out this karaoke feature, then feel free to comment and let me know, so, um... Yep. Now another thing about this Laserdisc player when I got it is that um, it also didn't come with any AV hookup cables to hook it up to your TV, but I already had um, a spare AV hookup cables for that, so um, I was pretty much settled with that. You know, it wasn't no big deal to me. And it also didn't come with a remote for this thing, so I'm probably just going to have to like look up, look up on eBay and and find a remote for this thing and program it but um still I, I can still use the you know the play feature and whatnot but um I like to use the fast forward and you know the skip and whatnot so I definitely need to get me a remote for this thing so yep. now the one thing about the Laserdisc format is that Laserdisc was probably the only competitor to VHS, but besides DVD, that was remotely successful because I know the few other of the competitors to VHS, such as the RCA Selectivision CD format, as well as the Betamax format, you know, both of those formats didn't last pretty long. I mean, they only lasted for like a, a couple of years and then they just left. But Laserdisc, on the other hand, had a pretty fair lifespan. I mean, this format lasted from like the late 70s to like the late 90s around like 1998 or 99 or whatnot because around that time was when DVD had entered the market and with all the advanced advances that DVD has over Laserdisc you know the Laserdisc format pretty much had no purpose in the market anymore so um yeah, but um, VHS, on the other hand, still remained in the market because, you know, VHS was still popular at the time, and it wasn't until 2006 when they stopped releasing movies onto the VHS format. And, of course, 2006 was also the year when the Blu-ray format was introduced. So, um, yep. All right, so I thought I'd give you guys a little brief history about the Laserdisc format. Now, let's get on with the Laserdisc movies that I picked up. Now, they didn't have a whole lot of Laserdisc titles at Savers, but um, they did have a few interesting ones right here. Now, um, I, I found these with the vinyl records music discs that they had. You know, since thrift stores usually get um, 
Laserdisc mixed up with um, vinyl records, so you really have to dig deep into the stack of vinyl records to come across these Laserdisc titles. So, um, yeah, well, anyways, here's what I got. First off, I have here is The War of the Worlds. There's the front. And the back. And this is a 1953 film released by Paramount Pictures, so, yep. Alright, next up I got here is The Guardian, released in 1990 by Universal. There's the front. And the back, right there. So, yep. Alright, next up I got here is The Quest, released in 1996 by Universal. And this is a letterboxed edition, so, yeah, well, anyways, there's the front. And the back right there. So, yep, that's the quest. Next up I got here is Kaje Musha, the Shadow Warrior. There's the front. And the back right there. And this is a 1980 film released by Fox. And let me go ahead and show you guys the cool inside to it. So, yep, that's what the inside looks like. So, yep, that's Kaj Musha. Let's slide that back in. Alright. Next up I got here is Daffy Duck's Quack Busters. There's the front. And the back. And this is a 1989 release by Warner Home Video. So, yep, that's Daffy Duck's Quack Busters. And next up I got here is a James Bond one. Dr. No, the first James Bond film released in 1962 starring Sean Connery. Now this is this particular Laserdisc release is actually the um, Laserdisc counterpart to the 1988 VHS release of Dr. No from MGM UA Home Video. So um, yep this is basically what the Laserdisc counterparts to the 1988 VHS releases of the James Bond films look like. So um, yep that's really neat. So yep. And of course, let me show you guys the back. And there's what the back looks like. So yep, that's Dr. No. And the last Laserdisc title I picked up here is Jim Carrey in The Mask, released in 1994 by New Line. So yep, and this is THX certified, so that's pretty cool. So yep, there's the front, and there's the back. So, yep, that's pretty much all the titles, the Laserdisc titles that I picked up. Now, I'm going to show you guys the Laserdisc player in action. Alright, so let me go ahead and power this beast on. There we go. And there's what it looks like on the TV. So, yep. Alright, so let's go ahead and pop in a Laserdisc. As you can see, I got right here is the Guardian. Now, if you give me one second, guys, I'm going to bring the disc out. Alright. And there's what the Laserdisc looks like. As you can see, it's as, as big as a vinyl record, of course, but um, it just looks like a CD or a DVD, just enormously huge, so... Yep, and, and of course it's dual-sided because um, Laser, Laserdisc didn't really hold a lot of memory. Like, um, only like one side of the disc could hold like uh, 30 minutes of film and then you'd have to flip it over to the other side of the disc to view the um, rest of the movie. And, um, and of course some Laserdiscs come with um, an extra disc just to like get through the entire um, film depending on how long the movie was. So, um... Yep, and as you can see, there's the label itself right there on the disc, which is pretty cool. So, yep, and of course, some of these laser discs come in these like little plastic wrappings to the disc. You know, some are in plastic wrappings, while others are in this cool-looking paper wrap, which is really neat to like you know protect the disc from dust or all those other things. So, you know, that's a really smart move that they did this. And why not? So, um, yeah, well, anyways, let me go ahead and take this out the plastic wrap for you guys. Just give me one moment. 
All right, bam, there it is. And of course, you guys can see my reflection right there. So, um, yep, because because of how clear this looks, you know, you can literally see a a reflection of your self or other things you know just like a mirror so um yep and the one cool thing that i learned about laser discs is that um apparently fingerprints or scratches actually don't affect the playback of the laser disc so um yeah and you know and that's a real um problem that dvds obviously have but um but blu-rays on the other hand don't actually have that problem because you know blu-ray discs are more scratch proof than dvds because you know I own a fair collection of Blu-ray discs, and um, these have never gotten scratched or whatnot. I mean, I, I take good care of my stuff, so, yep, don't need, really need to worry about that. So, yep, let's go ahead and pop this in the LaserDisc player and see what it looks like. Alright, so let me go ahead and open this thing up. And there's the tray right there. Now let's grab the disc and pop this thing in. All right. And it's locked in place. Now, let's go ahead and press play. And you can hear it spinning up. All right. Now, let's go ahead and go to the TV and watch it in action. There's the warning screen right there. And then I'll get to the logos and then the start of the film. All right. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the mask on LaserDisc right here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a, a few clips of the movie, but only for like a few seconds because I don't want this video to get removed for copyright. So, um, yep. But anyways, the disc is in the system. And let me go ahead and press play. All right. Because the opening. All right. So it's going to show this FBI warning screen and then the logos. And one little interesting feature about this player is that um, th this laser disc player actually allows you to skip through the different chapters of the movie, which I'm going to go ahead and press the two right here. And um, that skips over to the opening of the film, the start of the film, I should say. And there's the New Line Cinema logo right there. Okay, now let me go to chapter three, show you what that is, alright, and chapter four, so yeah, it, it's kind of like DVD, it, it lets you skip through the different chapters of the movie, which is pretty neat.
and the quality looks really good. I mean, it almost look, looks almost exactly like DVD quality, so that's really awesome. And another feature is about this laser disc player is that um, it actually um, automatically changes sides of the disc. That way, you don't have to eject the disc and flip it over to play the other side. You know, this player actually can read both sides. You know, de depending on which one you choose. Like right here, there's the side A A button, which is already on side A, and there's the side B button. So whenever you want to switch sides you just press either one of these buttons so let me go ahead and press side B right here and it automatically flips to the other side and reads the other side of the disc so yep and now it's playing side B chapter 10 so yep and let me go ahead and skip to chapter 11, right there. There's chapter 12. And chapter 13. And so on and so forth. Yep, so there you have it. Alright, so that's it for my little introductory video about my new Laserdisc player as well as some Laserdisc movies that I got. So, yep, I've just introduced a, a new format to my media collection. So, yep, you guys should see some some more Laserdisc titles for me in future update videos. As a matter of fact, I, I just ordered two Laserdisc titles on eBay, so... Once I get those in the mail, you guys should see a surprise update video on, on them. So, yeah, well, anyways, this is TriStar Pictures A2 signing off, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.